it's 10 years and, since you and, and Gunnar uh, started uh, Moom. Uh, yeah, 10 years. We can't really agree. Maybe it's 9 years or maybe 10. Mm-hmm. We're not very good with years. We released our first thing in 1998. So that makes it 10 years next year. But I think we may have started the band earlier, but we're not sure. I've, I've heard uh, lots of different, uh, some say 97, some say 98. Yeah. I can't say 98, but he says 97. Yeah. It, it has changed uh, a little bit music-wise over the years. How come? Um, I think it's just, um, you know, a, a progression. A really, We've gone from one place to another, and that's, the, that's what you want to do with music. I'm really happy we're not stuck in the same place we began. We, uh, when we first started, we, it was really, the first songs we were making were really, you know, minimal, just one synth and a sampler. And just as you learn music and learn how to do things and learn, you know, to, to work with yourself, it just builds and things happen. If we look at Moom today, it's not really uh, this stripped down version as you just mentioned. Tell us about the the seven seven persons on stage. Yeah, it's actually way too much. It'd be so much easier if we just had the synth and the sample now. Yeah, seven people. It's all good friends of ours. And um, most people have actually been playing with us for a long time. Hilter, who plays the cello, she was in a, you know, she was in a band with us when we were like 17 and 18. So... That's a while ago, and Eiki, who plays the trumpet, when we were starting to make the theater music, like, when we were starting out, he was playing with us there, and our drummer, we met him in Finland, I think, 90, 99, so, most people have been for a long time, but the guitar player, and the, he's very new, and the other singer, she's, she started, like, three, no, she started, like, half a year ago. How how long? How much time you have? You have some time you have to spend to do the music, and then you have to put this uh, bloody schedule together to get all these people who lives in Berlin, in Finland, and all over together. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm working in an office, and sometimes it seems that um, scheduling things is taking a lot more time than than actually the music thing. But that's just that just makes you know making the music so much better. It's like having a massage. How would you? There was a new album uh, coming out in yeah two one month ago actually. Mm. Uh, uh, how would you describe it? It's a uh, it's a light and kind of a happy album. At least for us, the album before was kind of dark. So this is light, happy, and open. It's really open and playful. I think mm. it's we were really happy about it. It's probably one of the first albums that. We can still listen to after we, after we made it. You come to to Sweden in November. Uh, will we get to hear uh, the songs, for example, your very first ones uh, from, like the debut? Uh, yesterday was dramatic. Today is okay. The very stripped down Moom songs in this full orchestral uh, version. Yeah, yeah, we still do that. We do, we do two or three songs from the first album, and we do a couple of songs of the other albums as well. You know, it's fun. It's fun to do the the old songs in a different way. We did actually, we played, two years ago we played in, there's this series in, in England that's called Don't Look Back and they make, they make bands play like old albums through from song one to the end and we did the first album there in 2005 and we played the, all the songs so differently but it was really, it was a really nice experience. What do you think? What will happen now? Now you have, now you're down to it's it's you and Gunnar who who do the moom. Uh, what can you can you already now see in the future where you want, in what direction you want to go? Mm, the we kind of have just a daydream of soon being able to go to some house and just work on new music. But we don't know what's going to come out of it. But we're sure, like, all these people who are playing with us now are going to keep on playing with us. Mm. And and we're going to add more people, I guess. That's, that's always how it goes. You start out two, then it's four, five, six, seven, and, you know, maybe ten by the end of next year.